Welcome, Scorpio, and welcome to your June 2022 reading into July. So I wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for being patient with me and, and always sticking in there with me as um, I have other things going on and I just wanted to be able to see my family. So I did take that time to travel and I thought I was going to be able to do the readings at their place, but I wasn't able to. There was just too many distractions. So here I am doing the reading for you now. And again, I appreciate you because you know that these readings are timeless. And there is so many great readers out there that are on the same energy wavelength of messages that you receive. So it ties in as the infinity symbol uh, with all of us and the collective out to you and that's how we're all connected in that sense and so i appreciate you guys again for you know just taking that moment to check in to see what your reading is about so you can receive your messages as well and again there's so many different great readers out there that have the energy that's connected with all of ours as well so yeah beautiful energies that are out there okay so you know that these are timeless energies so i'll skip that part but you know that these are also general readings so not all of these readings will resonate with you in fact maybe the whole reading will not and so just know that i will catch you next time if that is the case but also know that you could always take the bits and pieces of the reading that do resonate and just get rid of what doesn't but also know that you never should make a reading work for you as well, okay? And if it all resonates with you, it is a gift from spirit to you, okay? And then also, if you can please like, share, and subscribe, that really helps me grow my channel as I would like to consolidate everything I do. I need to really fine tune what is it that I want to keep on continuing doing as well as I have my contest going on, right? So if you have the most views in our lives and even if you comment below, then I will take that in consideration as well to move you ahead and you will be right after the birthday sign of cancer, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with your reading, Scorpio, and see what it is that Spirit wants to tell you for the month of June into July. And also know that I'm going to be consolidating my readings, making it a little bit condensed and shorter because my camera likes to shut off in inopportune times and I'm pretty tired of it doing that. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and with your reading. So just know that we're going to start off with your energies and I'm going to start off with the first row rather than the main oracle message or the message. We're going to do that to tie it in last. So let's go ahead and see what it is that Scorpio needs to know for the month. Of, wow, that was a lot of messages that flew out. And so one second, let me get these. And I'm not going to take these cards that are down here. There's a lot of messages that Spirit wants to tell you, but I'm not gonna take these cards. So, we're going to go ahead and continue shuffling. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Spirit, for the month of June into July? So, we have the Six of Cups energy. So, you're definitely thinking of this love energy, reminiscing about a soulmate. The heartbreak as well. There has been heartbreak with this soulmate energy, but someone from your past. What else is it that Scorpio needs to know for the month of June and July? Maybe this soulmate has hurt you, or there you have hurt the soulmate, or there has been a third party situation because the three of swords could also mean that. And then there's this nine of cups energy. There's this energy of having it all. So it's this energy of feeling 
maybe you or your soulmate has hurt you and with this mug energy it's this feeling of you could have had it all but you went through this heartbreak and you're reminiscing someone from the past because this is about from the past someone that you may have had known from the past I'm feeling but there was this sense of heartbreak so this person may have hurt you Scorpio or you have hurt them whatever take whatever side that you feel it's this reflection of this person though and it's this feeling of you could have it all and with this four of wands energy it's this wanting to reconnect with this soulmate it's this need this want this desire to revisit this and this is your wish and there is a, was a lot of heartbreak involved in between this relationship is what I'm getting here but it's not all sad Scorpio I feel that there's a lot of excitement with this realization of, of wanting to have it all this wish of happiness to reconnect so but knowing that there has been heartbreak and I feel that it has been on both levels so I think that's what I want to tell you there because it's, it, this looks like it's all straightforward in regards to that message. But let's go ahead and get a oracle card in regards to tying the message and what is it that Spirit wants to tell you. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Spirit, for the month of June into July? What is it that we can tell Scorpio for June into July? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? For June into July. And then we have by the book. And we have these elephants. And so it's this energy of family, right? Elephants are pack type of animals. And they are following lead in their family and so 11 and so we have this 11 11 energy coming through as well with this soulmate you know because this is a very spiritual soulmate type of energy the six of cups and these hard lessons that have come through with this three of swords energy how to go through this heartbreak and heart this pain or maybe in had involved someone in order that broke up this beautiful loving relationship that was blossoming and now after going through some sort of heartbreak and it could be with this person or it could be that it like I said it was involved another party which wasn't a very fulfilling relationship which led to now you're going through this fulfillment of having something more solid with this elephant energy that I'm getting with by the book and with 1111 the number here it's reconnecting from a soulmate from the past is what I'm getting here and so let's go ahead and see what the book has to say about by the book here with 11 But with these pachyderm, which is elephant, they are a packed animal type of energy. And so it, the essential message here is abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, universal laws. And so what you may have thought of in regards to what was your family and this universal law, I feel didn't turn out to be this fulfilling energy and in the spiritual sense of the soulmate from the past that comes in is this true happiness and is this true by the book energy 
So the oracle message is the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provide a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of com compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. And so you had to go through these different laws to find this grounded stability by the book. And it's your book, your experience, that brings you to this 1111 type of energy of reconnecting. I don't know what is going to be this great wish of joy. So let's see here. Even revolution has its place in the universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs and vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is the time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will connect any disharmony. So open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. So that's what they're saying. And so going through all these universal laws, but you're creating your, your book in order to bring you to this greater happiness. Okay. And it's not about conformity. It's about your joy is what I'm getting here. Your wish, your happiness, you create it. And this would be your book. To get out of a situation, no one deserves to be in this painful, unloving energy. Everybody deserves love and to have joy in their world. And to create your story, and, and it is by the book that brings you more harmony and joy, but going through these lessons, and these lessons are learned, and it's a part of our journey in life that will create harmony. So let's go ahead and continue with your card reading here and see what else Spirit wants to tell you for the month of June into July for Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Spirit, for the month of June into July? What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Spirit, for June into July? So we have this Knight of Cups energy. What else does Scorpio need to know? into June and July. And then we have this death energy, the lover's energy. What else does Scorpio need to know, Spirit, for the month of June into July? What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Spirit, for the June into July? What is it that Scorpio needs to know into June and July? Yeah, the High Priestess, we have this Four of Pentacles energy. What else does Scorpio need to know, Spirit, for June into July? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? That's a lot of cards, so we'll keep continuing on. Okay, and then we have the Two of Wands. So with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, um, you may be dealing with another water sign, doesn't have to be, which is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, doesn't have to be. But there's this energy of wanting to open up and give you this cup of love. And this is the soulmate energy that is that loves you. They're going through some sort of transformation, of breaking away from heartbreak, Scorpio. There is this transformation that this person's going through and they're needing to make a choice. You may be dealing with the Gemini, doesn't have to be, um, but it also could mean that they have another choice 
but they're that you are their choice, you are their wish, and they're wanting to have this reconnection with you. With the Four of Wands, it's the sense of making, making it through the finish line, right? And having the celebration with you. And it's very summery, as we can see here. It's like a very Mediterranean-looking summary place it's maybe you are traveling but it's this feeling of wanting to reconnect with you in a sense and it is their wish there is this deeper meaning though of, and it's also this very sexual kind of energy that they feel with you with the lovers they do feel that you're this soulmate energy and this loving energy and it's this wish energy as well. The person you may be dealing with also may be very intuitive or the person that they're dealing with um, may be very secretive, I feel. You know, the other person also that, that may be dealing with may be um, elusive, may be cold, may be secretive with this high priestess. Or it could be that your person is very spiritual and maybe into doing tarot readings like I am as well. So in a sense that the person that um, your person is maybe very highly intuitive, but as I see that there is another energy, it could be that they're dealing with someone who is trying to keep them down is what I'm getting here because with this four of pentacles energy this is someone else this person is definitely holding on to them for financial purposes for no financial reasons has to do around money and so they're not saying much, I feel, with this energy that may be tying them down. But your person is wanting to transform away from this person where there is money ties. And this is the other choice that they are contemplating on. But it isn't for the highest, best good choice because... It is the concerns around money. It has nothing to do with love. And it has caused a lot of heartbreak, but your person is wanting to transform and that is their wish. And so they are making this choice towards something that's lighter, something that's more happier, where it's more celebratory. So let's go ahead and get more confirmation in regards to what's going on here what else does Scorpio need to know for the month of June into July so we have the chariot card and we have the star card okay beautiful so as we said here someone is trying to keep them down through finances Right, because the Four of Pentacles is about it's about someone that's greedy, greedy and holding on to their finances, not letting anyone, you know, come between them and their finances. So someone that's holding on to their finances. It could be that your person is trying to hold on to their finances with this contract with this person I'm getting here. And you can see that She's holding on to some paperwork here, which is, I feel, with what's going on here, very contractual in that sense. But there is this transformation that's happening because it's not a picnic with this person. It's very hard and heartbreaking. And it 
it's very interesting because I'm looking at this card here where the soulmate is and this lovers and it could be that this person has known this person as well from the past and it's very interesting because it's you but it's also this other image of this other person but where is the good where is the love where from each of but the choice of the lovers so seeing who is this karmic energy of who holds them down with how it looks on the outside and clout and finances to someone that really loves them for who they are. And so moving into this wish energy of reconnecting with themselves and who it is that they really love on a more intimate level, which is not just a sexual level, but it's this energy of joy and love. There is this big attraction that they have with you, but it's this joy of love. And we can see all these innocent flowers, the white flowers, right, with the lilies and transforming, right? And we see it here with the death card. We see all these white flowers of innocence and joy. And then transformation. And this is death, really, the lilies, but really transforming. And it's also sexual, this loving energy. And so moving towards in this direction of what's going to bring greater happiness that this person's feeling for you, Scorpio. And it is this big healing energy with the star, this healing energy within that brings all this joy. And this is what your person is planning. So this is what this person is creating with by the book. But let's go ahead and now get an affirmation for you, Scorpio, for the month of June into July. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Spirit, for the month of June into July? We have personal growth. This is great. As I move towards greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away, like training wheels on a bike. They help me get to where I am. But now that I can ride, I don't need those slow and crummy wheels, except when I'm making bike analogies. <laughs> so great, personal growth. So your person is going through this personal growth in regards to emotional growth that has a tie to emotional growth with their feelings and really being able to see what is true. What is that real expression of love? Not something that it's just about the status quo of keeping them buying by some kind of contractual money. But this also could be not just a relationship. This could also be work situation right or it could be some kind of contractual situation that's just bound by money but it's it's not it's not a joy in what they do it's just holding on to these finances maybe they do something where they make a lot of money but they're not fulfilled so choosing something that they love making that choice and transforming into that personal growth so it could go many different ways in that way. But that's what I'm seeing is that they're going through into a greater consciousness now when they really choose love. Or, and when you choose love as well. Because I see all these changes going here. And now you're creating your wish to reconnect with what's going to make you happy. What causes you joy. And so let's go ahead now and just close it with a couple of Doring Virtue cards and see what the Romance Angels wants to tell us for the month of June and July. And we got Free Yourself, another one. What is it that Scorpio needs to know for the month of June into July? Spirit. And then we have... Forgiving and learning. So free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And so someone, Scorpio, I feel is freeing themselves. 
I feel I see this energy of packing bags and leaving someone is on that's with them on the other side is not happy obviously they don't have any more control over them because your person has realized that they're the unicorn and able to free themselves and they're taking back control of their own life not to be complacent as this Unicorn's just sitting down and was complacent, but now real, realizes how much more there is outside to experience for themselves to have that joy and what's real. Not living an illusion, but forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, living in the present and really experiencing that love, but forgiving those forgiving yourself too, or this person is what they're, they're doing is forgiving others and forgiving themselves. And whatever doesn't work, realize it. And it's this lesson that angel is, the angels are protecting your person and yourself over in regards to being able to release and heal the past. And again, to experience more love in your present moments. So I love it. You're creating this book, this new book, a new chapter. And I don't need to see the world card in that sense. But really beautiful messages from Spirit. I love it. So I hope that you have a great month from end of this month into next month. And if you have the most views in our lives, you'll be right after cancer again. And I love you guys. And thank you so much for sticking in there with me. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you next month. Thank you. Bye.